Yes, yes, I'm happy the Philippines loves me. Listen, you're a singer and a musician. If you were going to write a song about your experience here at Miss Universe, what would you call it? Well, you know what, Steve? As a Miss Philippines, I've always felt the love and the support of the Filipino people. And I think I brought half of my country here tonight. And so I would name the song Raise Your Flag because I stand here not as one, but as a hundred. Thank you, Philippines. Working in some of the poorest areas of my country, I found that it was a lack of child support, not poverty, that killed their dreams. A child once told me, Kat, that's just not my life, and those dreams aren't meant for me. But I stand here today because someone believed in me, and we owe it to our children to believe in them. Kapong ka. Nepal. Still in the running is Philippines. And it's just around the corner. I'll be right there next to you. Once I started the music, it just was fulfilling in a way that everything else wasn't. Mom told me that even when I was in the womb, like I was dancing along to music. <laughs> I'm an only child, very, very close to my parents, especially my dad. He would always say the longest journey starts with a single step. When you have a dream or an ambition and it's so far away and it's so high up, you can feel overwhelmed. But when you look at it as just one step at a time, one day you're going to look up from your feet and you'll be at your destination. So that's a piece of advice from my dad that I feel I'm going to apply in my whole life. <laughs> Philippines. Well thought out and executed. Baby, that's what you do. That's what you do. Don't Philippines. Oh wow, a slow-mo turn. And then she goes on into giving us that great face, that great attitude. She's she's killing the game here. Got that great silhouette. This is a really winning look for Miss Venezuela. Philippines has so much riding on this, and of course, a crowd favorite. Now that dress is quite daring and different. I love the color. I love her smile. She has a sultry, sultry walk. Earning spot number three is Philippines. How are you? I'm good, Steve. I can't believe it's top five already. <laughs> well, it's here. Uh, here's your question. Canada recently joined Uruguay as the second nation in the world to make marijuana legal. What is your opinion on the legalization of marijuana? I'm for it being used in a medical use, but not so for recreational use. Because I think if people were to argue, what about alcohol and cigarettes? Well, everything is good, but in moderation. Thank you. The first finalist with a chance to take the Miss Universe crown is... Philippines! What is the most important lesson you've learned in your life and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? 
I work a lot in the slums of Tondo, Manila, and the life there is very, it's poor and it's very sad. And I've always taught myself to look for the beauty in it, to look in the beauty in the faces of the children and to be grateful. And I would bring this aspect as a Miss Universe to see situations with a silver lining and to assess where I could give something, where I could provide something as a spokesperson. And this, I think, if I could teach also people to be grateful, we could have an amazing world where negativity could not grow and foster and children would have a smile on their face. Thank you. If for any reason the winner is unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take her place. Good luck to you both. Miss Universe!